Okay, good morning everyone. And uh, why are there so many people absent today? They late teacher or they lazy. Okay. Well, uh, let's continue our lesson. So, where do we stop last week? Data transmission teacher. So, data transmission. Raya. Okay, let's go. Let's open the slides. Okay, well, oh, there's no, no slides for this part, that's okay, uh, I will just follow my notes. So, uh, who can explain about data transmission? Okay, the guy in front who played this phone, can you explain about data transmission? Data transmission is the transmission of data from one point to another. There are four basic elements in data transmission Sending and receiving device, transmission media, connection device, and transmission specification Sending device and receiving device are used to transmit and receive data While transmission media is the medium that data travel Example of sending device are desktop, microphone, and fan station While example of the receiving device is speakers, television, and printer, and so on Okay, so transmission media are the materials or substances capable of carrying one or more signal and we have two kinds of transmission media which is wire or wireless. So Zoe, can you tell me about uh, the transmission media? Physical transmission media is basically like wires and cables and other tangible materials that send communication signals like for example twisted pair cables There are two conductors which are actually twisted together to reduce noise yeah. Good So how about the coaxial cable and the fiber optic cable? I'm not too sure It's okay uh, well, let me just continue for this part. So, coaxial cable. As you see, this is the coaxial cable. And the example of coaxial cable, you can see it here, like this mic. And now, so, what is coaxial cable? Coaxial cable actually is a type of cable that has an inner conductor surrounded by a tubular insulating layer surrounded by a tubular conducting shell as you see in this slide Got it? So, what do coaxial cable use for? So, coaxial cable is often used for antenna, microphone, speaker, last but not least Television. The fork. Wow. Right? But it rarely used in network cabling because it's too large to fit in. Now, so next thing is fiber optic cable. So what is a fiber optic cable? Fiber optic cable is a cable containing one or more optic fibers which are made by glass or plastic that are used to transmit data with light. Got it? So these are the example of fiber, uh, fiber optic and this is the fiber optic cable. And also this you can see it's also a fiber optic cable. So, what do we use for? Fiber optic cable normally used in networking, medical, telecommunication, broadcasting. So, understood?
Alright? Uh, I send the order, so it might be time delay seconds. Alright, here it is. Well, thank you so much. Are you Victor? What? Come, come on. Come on. What? 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 Anyway, so happy to see you again, Victor. Yeah, excuse me, mister, but I'm Vicky, I'm not Victor, you know. Okay, so Alvin, this is the twisted pair cable. I'm very sorry that I didn't order the fiber optic cable because it is too expensive. So. I'm very sorry about that. So, Miss Terra, can you explain about broadcast radio and cellular radio? Broadcast radio is a unidirectional wireless transmission over radio waves intended to reach a wide audience. Cellular radio distributes radio signals used for mobile communication, for example 2G, 3G, and 4G. Wow, that's good. So, remember to accept my Facebook request, yeah? Explain for me the microwave station. Yeah, dude, I know, I know what is a microwave station. Microwave station is an earth-based reflector that is used to microwave like, communications. It must transmit in straight line with no obstructions. And also, what is the purpose of microwaves? Microwaves are used to transmit satellite television and for mobile phones. So, can I go now? No, just see. Alright, thank you. Oh, my boss is gonna kill me right now. Next. So, lecturer, I think I can handle this. Let me help you explain this part to the other students. Alright. Okay. Okay. So, hi everybody. My name is Alvin. And I'm going to discuss with all of you about wireless transmission media part 2. Okay, next slide please. So, what is a communication ah, Why did I do that again? So, what is a communication satellite? A space station that receives microwave signals from Earth base station amplifies signals and broadcast signals back to any number of Earth-based stations. As you can see, a picture of an example of a space station. Next. And this is what you can see in the real life NASA. This is where they take the picture in one of the satellites. Next. And we should come to here. What is a wireless modem? Wireless modem allows access to the web wirelessly from a notebook, computer, a smartphone, or other mobile device. Typically, oops, so sorry. Okay, never mind. Uh, typically use the same waves used by cellular waves. Telephones. Example of a modem. Next. And a router. Broadband. And Wi-Fi on that router. Okay, we've come to this part. What is a network card? I'll just move up. Shoot. Sure. Okay. Network card consists of adapter card, PC card, express card, model, USB network adapter, or flash card that enables computer or device to access network. Sometimes called network interchange. That's an example of a network card. There is an example of a network card. And another one. <laughs> Alright, so thank you. You may have a
Oh no, it's almost time. The class should be end earlier. Okay, so let's talk about router. So router is... So, so I will explain it. Router is a networking device that is used to connect the two or more logically and physically different networks. On the internet, the routers play the functions of shorting and distribution of data packets based on the internet protocol, short term IP, address of destination, mode, mode router or computer. Use the header and forwarding table to choose the best shortest path to transmit the data towards the destination. Use the connect to LANs, locate every network, two ones, work every network, and LAN with one and a LAN with the ISP Internet Service Provider Network. It's the example of the router. So, what is the hub? Hub is a command connection point for device in network. It commonly used to connect seven segments of a LAN. It also contain multiple ports. When a packet arrives at one port, it is copied to the other port so that all segments of the LAN can see all packets. It is a simple part. So, what's switch? Switch is a piece of a physical security, security component that governs the signal flow. It's having a switch or to go switch allows a connection to be open or closed. When open, the switch allows a signal or power to flow through the connection. Then close the switch, stop the flow, and breaks the circuit connection. On the network, a switch is a hardware device that filters and forwards network packets, but often not capable of much more. A network switch is more advanced than a hub, but not as advanced as a router. So, this is an example of a switch. And data transmission specification. Such parts, the transmission application is a set of rules and procedures. It's coordinated with sending device and receiving device by defining how the message will be sent. So the example of speci specification is electric signal, bandwidth, serial versus parallel transmission. So the I will give you one example of the data transmission specification. One is bandwidth. In computing, bandwidth is the big risk available of conceived information capacity expressed typically in metric multiplies of bits per second. Variously, bandwidth may be categorized as network bandwidth, data bandwidth, or digital bandwidth. The definition of bandwidth is in contrast to the field of signal processing, wireless communication, modern and modern, modern data transmission digital communication and electronics in which bandwidth is used to refer to analog signal bandwidth ratio in Hertz, meaning the frequency range between lowest and highest attainable frequency while meeting a well defined increment level in the signal. However, the actual bit rate that can be achieved depends not only on the signal bandwidth but also the noise of the channel. Thanks, I explained that. Thank you, sir. Okay, thanks. So, our class is missed now.